this. Holly Holm is taking down Ronda. Ducking. Wow, wow, wow. This is incredible. Beautiful. Can she Beautiful. Can. She's hurt. Ronda's in trouble. She's hurt. Hey, oh, Holly looking to finish. Oh, Holly Holm is the new UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. Having reached the pinnacle of the UFC, and becoming the first fighter ever to hold major titles in both boxing and MMA, Holly Holm towered over the bantamweight division. Unfortunately, a year and two losses later, her stature has crumbled, but not her name. Now, the preacher's daughter will compete in UFC 208's main event for the inaugural 145 pound woman's title and a shot at becoming the fourth fighter in UFC history to hold titles in multiple divisions. Standing in her way is Dutch Muay Thai destroyer Jermaine Durandamy. The Iron Lady fears no one on the feet and comes into the biggest fight of her MMA career, riding a two-fight TKO streak. History will be made as the first ever woman's featherweight champion will be crowned, albeit in the shadow of Chris Cyborg. In the co-main event, Anderson Silva will look to get back in the win column and earn a shot against the man he nearly knocked out in London. Across the cage from the spider will be number eight ranked Derek Brunson, who is looking to rebound himself. Another Brazilian looks to cement his shot at Bisbing, as Jacare will be looking for a devastating finish to jump the line at middleweight. Serious trouble here. The tap. The tap. Despite falling out of the top 10, Tim Boach is a tough out for anyone and has fight ending power for three rounds. This is the most comprehensive and entertaining pre-fight show on the world's premier 24-7 television channel, dedicated to the complete coverage of combat sports. It's UFC 208, Home vs. Durandamy, and it starts right now. Welcome to another edition of Fight News Now. You know the three of us by now. We've got UFC 208 coming up on Saturday night, the UFC's very first card from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It is a quick turnaround after running Madison Square Garden in November, Albany, New York in December. You can't forget that card. And now in Brooklyn, John, we will crown the very first and maybe last UFC Women's Featherweight Champion. And let's hope it's not the last. A lot of people love Holly Holm, and I think after this fight, they're going to love Jermaine Durandamy, whether she becomes the 145-pound champion or not. But I think there is a lot of interest. A lot of girls can move from 135 pounds up to 145 pounds. And the big question is... When is Cyborg going to get her crack at a division that we thought was created for her? Hey, before any of that stuff happens, these two are yeah. going to put on a spectacular fight. It's been very exciting to go in and start to look over all their footage, look over their brilliant moments. And we know home. We know what she can do. We saw what she did to Ronda. You saw it in the open. We also saw what she could do with Misha Tate. She lost that fight. But in that fight with Misha Tate, man, she was just having an outstanding fight, making Misha chase her. Just beautiful stuff. We've seen what Holly Holm can do, and we're going to see what your, uh, Jermaine Durandamy can do. Robin, glass half full black. He'll have to fight with me and Ramsey on this show. We look ahead. It's going down at the Barclays Center on Saturday night. As we mentioned, your main event hits Holly Holm coming up to 145 pounds, taking on Jermaine Durandamy. You look at the numbers there, Holly Holm, the older of the two fighters, but Jermaine Durandamy has had a lot of experience. 46 and 0 in Muay Thai, will have a slight reach advantage over Holly Holm. Maybe that is going to prove to be a significant factor mm -hmm. in this fight, but I think it is safe to say that Jermaine Durandamy, it's hard to watch her fights with Ana Elmos, mm -hmm. Julie Kedzie, because Holly Holm is a different athlete, but one in which I mean, Robin, you've done an extensive breakdown that we're going to see later on in the show. This is a very winnable fight for Jermaine Durand. It really is. And yes, we watch her footage and you look at those fights that she's had. You look at her knocking people out and you see the power that she has. You see the skill, the clean technique. We're going to see a few of them right here. And uh, yes, the skill. Look at when you see this right hand, there's that one, that left hook that uppercut and watch when she puts her away. The overhand right that she uncorks. 
But what you'll notice is her opponent is standing still. She's not moving her feet. She's there. She's a victim. And she's victimized by this woman. But Holly Holm is a great mover. She's a smooth, smooth mover. And it was Misha. The fight with Misha, as much as the Ronda win is amazing, the fight with Misha showed you just what she can do to make you chase her. And, you know, yes, we saw how that fight unfolded. But through a couple of key rounds, intercepting Misha, drawing her in, pot shotting her from the outside, moving away and drawing her into her power left hand. This and this was one moment in an otherwise brilliant fight that lasted, what, 23, 24 minutes. Uh, really, you saw how skilled she was in that fight. And Misha just had the hearts and the guts to be able to find that moment. Uh, but Holly Holm's a very skilled fighter, man. You mentioned uh, Jermaine Durandamy's past opponents, Almos and Julie Kedzie. Julie Kedzie, of course, part of that Team Jackson Winklejohn, and they've had a chance to study Jermaine Durandamy for quite some time, so they're very, very familiar with, with her. And one of the things they, they know, they know that she moves forward. They know mm -hmm. about her tie boxing abilities. They know about her big hooks and her uppercuts and her shovel punches. And I think they're going to try to, if you look at some of the times her opponents have had success, they had success up against the cage. And I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn come up with a strategy to see Holly Holm I'll do a lot of wrestling in this fight. Uh, yes, I agree with you. And uh, Adam Zuchek is a top coach out in Victoria, and he coaches Sarah Kaufman. They're friends of mine. I spoke with them this week. Sarah loves Holly. They're close friends. They've worked together a ton. And Sarah's concern as a friend was that Holly really works well with her reach, and she doesn't have the reach advantage. She penalizes people because of her skills at Southpaw, but this is somebody who's fought a lot of Southpaws. And it's the Shevchenko fight for me. As much as Shevchenko fought that fight against Holly as a Southpaw versus Southpaw, Southpaw scenario. It was the way she managed the range and the way that she made Holly miss and basically Holly homed her. Did to Holly right there. You see Shevchenko looks like home against against uh, Ronda, drawing her in, intercepting her, making her uncertain of what to do. Holm fought a great fight there, but she started to, like a goaltender who lets in too many goals and starts to unravel. Holly's confidence fell during that fight and she performed worse as the fight goes on. That cannot happen. Isn't that a good lesson woman. though? She yes. experienced that in Shevchenko. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now she knows not uh, knows what she can't do and now she can make, make the proper adjustments to face another tie boxer. You are exactly right, brother. When you go in, there are, you know, your glass half full. Hey, losing sucks. But you've had an experience there that you can analyze, analyze yourself, and see what you what you can do in this situation. This is a stellar main event. I feel that if Holly Holm can take something from Shevchenko, exercise some of that patience, Jermaine Durandamy is going to be searching for those openings, and you see how clean she could land on mm -hmm. some of those women. Throwing a lot in the early rounds could very much tire her out because Holly Holm, I feel if she wins this fight, it's likely going the distance here. I don't know if she necessarily has that power to just stop Jermaine Durandamy, but conditioning could be a major factor in this fight. What's interesting is Durandamy said that, you know, she's worked on her conditioning in the past, but for this fight specifically, she's looking to add strength. So it's been a focus of hers, strength training. So what do you think would be the advantage of that? Yeah, I mean, no doubt about it. Holly's big and powerful and super athletic, so that's going to come in handy. It is coming up Saturday night. The pay-per-view card kicks off at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We will be going over more fights from the main card, but it is headlined by Holly Holm and Jermaine Durandamy to crown the first UFC Women's Featherweight Champion. Coming up, at one time he was the king of the middleweight division, but Anderson Silva now finds himself winless in his last five fights. Can the Spider return to his dominating ways against one of the division's most lethal strikers? Plus, Jacare takes a dangerous fight against the barbarian Tim Boach, who wants to muddy up the middleweight picture.